Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 49. Today, we're going to be validating linked rotates. <clears throat> so I believe last time when we left off, um, we have our linked cubes rotating. <clears throat> but if the one that we have selected, which one are you? You are A. If I turn off A's ability to rotate, then life is good, right? Can't fail, or can't rotate. But if I select another one, then it rotates happily. So, ooh, and we have some more warnings here. Um, in the code, we were checking if we can rotate is valid. Well, you know what, let's just debug this. Let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> so we'll just disable A from the get-go, and we'll rotate B. <laughs> okay. So there's B, boop, and we're in debug mode. So this should be true. Cool. And we have two neighbors, cool. Physical link cube A, okay. <clears throat> so this should be, this should return false, right? And if we and false and true, we should get false. Okay, cool. Ah, okay, so this is what happened. Um, this resolved to false, and then we went in through its checks and its check rotator delegates. Well, let's make sure. Oh, continue. Right, because there's no system delegate checks there. So we continue and is valid, so this should fail. We should set this to false, but we're already in begin rotate. We've already started this, oh dear. So here is where we check if the cube can actually rotate. <clears throat> and we have this bool can rotate this frame. Okay, so I'm just going to extract this variable <clears throat> and we'll expose it. And I do believe, hmm. So this is at the very beginning of begin rotate. We need to find out where we need to reset this to true. I mean, could we just do it in update? Hmm. 
Um, <clears throat> Let's just use these as two separate variables for now. And then maybe what I'll do, I'm not sure if this is a hack, but void post render. Essentially what I'm doing is at the very end of the frame, <clears throat> I'm resetting this variable to true. Instead of doing it at the beginning of the frame, this it seems like a better idea to do it at the end. Well, it's, you know, about the same thing. Um, so we're not setting this anymore. We're going to need a mutator. Just a simple one. I'm never going to need to set this to true. I only need a function that can turn it off for the single frame. So instead of turning this off, we can, if not is valid, <clears throat> then our current rotator cannot rotate this frame. And this function is happening in handle begin rotate, which is a little too late actually, right? <clears throat> because that starts happening here. And we're way past that point. I mean, is there any reason that this is down here? Could I move this up here? I don't think so. On begin rotate. Oh, it might need these start and applied rotations. And we'll begin rotate. Oh, I know our cube core does need that. Where is that? <clears throat> yeah, it needs the target and start rotation to be done. Um, and this actually sets up the target and start rotation. So there was a reason that that was down there. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh-oh. I'm going to put this here. That seems to be correct. Hmm. So we need a way to <clears throat> decide if the thing can rotate before on check can rotate. Are we going to need a pre rotate? Dang it. Maybe we will. I mean, this could all go in a pre-rotate. I don't think that's going to be a big problem.
And then in physical link, <clears throat> this is handle begin rotate. We're going to call this free. begin rotate and then look for where it's angry. Free. Free. So in theory, this should work. Yeah, that's correct. So cube A still is turned off. Oh, okay. No reference exception. Oh. <laughs> I guess this is the first time we haven't had an on begin rotate. We're going to fix that. Our physical link is going to need that. Yes. Oh, yeah. So if any of them are locked now, it fails. <clears throat> Excellent. And if I unlock cube A? Oh no. Cube B can rotate. Cube C can rotate. Hmm. What is happening here? Cube A rotator can rotate. Boop. Debug. So this should return true. Excellent. Current B should return true. OK. Continue. Current C should return true. OK. And we're done with the neighbors. This should fail. <coughs> Oh, that's right. Um, my solution for post render. Post render is a Unity function that only happens on the camera. Hmm. So we need to find a way to reset this value. Oh, you know what? Let's just do it here. Right? We've already used it. We're done. Seems a little bit dangerous. Um, we'll just say there could be a better place to put this. Just in case other systems need to know if that cube could rotate this frame. So we'll start it as off. Okay, it is off. We cannot do it. Well, that's quite interesting. I mean, it looks like I'm never setting the, the ease back. I'm still using this fail ease instead of our regular easer. Where do we do that? Hmm. Easer get curve. We are setting it here. So let's turn it on immediately. Oh, that worked fine. Let's break it. Boom. 
boom. Oh, I think I need to set the curve of all of them. No, it's even breaking on this one. And now it works. What the heck? It's almost like the one that was turned off still is using that easer. <clears throat> Cannot rotate two. So see, it's always saying rotated complete, but this these cannot rotate um, counters aren't going up. Do, 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 do. What could be the issue here? Let's try and figure it out. So we'll spin it here. Boom. We'll turn it on, and then we'll start debugging. And we'll try to spin this here. Yeah. Set the curve. These should both be true. OK. Right, our physical links don't have an on begin rotate. So why are you wiggling, buddy? Whoa. Been a long time since I debugged that. Let's put our breakpoint a little bit higher up. So this is the normal easer. It's not our fail easer. Oh, dang it, stop debugging. <clears throat> that is bizarre. What's this over here? I guess that was just a weird drawing bug. Oh no, that makes sense to me. Just a longer path than I expected. Um. <clears throat> huh. Here's an idea. Let's try making the duration on this substantially longer.
So the fail rotate should be a oh. What? What is going on? Turn off QB. That's using a quick wiggle. Oh my god, they're all using this duration here. Wow. How long has that been happening? Um, transform ease. Timer equals zero. Timer is greater than duration. Class. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit more some a little bit more weird string name So this is our wiggle And this is our slide And on begin ease, we will print Ah, oh, we don't even have a, a game object to print out. Okay, that's fine. And right, <clears throat> we need a debug.log here instead. Right, no ease beginning. No ease beginning. What? Slide. It's always using slide. Dang, I wasn't expecting this part to be so tricky. I could have sworn these, these curves were getting set correctly. On begin rotate, easer begin ease. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we actually need two of these easers. One for sliding, one for failing, and then a separate user whose job it is to set duration. User set curve, and this would be slide ease. That's all good. And in awake, we'll say easer equals slide. That means all of our cubes are going to be broken. <sighs> That's okay. Not really a big pain in the butt. But it should fix this problem. And then cube A, turn you on. Ah, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> what cube A? What are you doing over here, buddy? <laughs> what? Why did it? See, yeah, when I click off it, it seems to update. Huh. It's telling me I'm setting slide ease? No, I don't believe you. What's our time look like? Okay, halfway. I do not believe you. User set duration. Who calls you? Oh, this variable speed. Okay, that seems fair. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to change this to set ease durations. Oops. And instead of just doing whatever easer we have, we're going to do the slide ease. I guess it's just the slide ease, right? We discussed last time that we don't want the wiggle to take two and a half seconds. So we'll rename this back. <laughs> Can't rotate, select off, select on. It's fine. We'll say you can rotate, select off, select on. It's fine. <gasps> yes. Turn you off. Yes. Turn you back on. Yes. <laughs> I love it when stuff works. Feels good, man. Okay, first things first, let's clean up this printing and name stuff. 
Um, next thing I want to do is just walk through these prefabs. And set the curves correctly. I don't know why you would spin a death cube, but there might be a reason. Maybe you have a whittling that's immune to death. Death cube, limited select cube. Yay, this is going to be fun. Wait, do I have a limited spin, locked, pressure plate, reverse spin, slippery, spirit link? Oof, ooh, I like that a lot. Um, we'll turn all of these, we'll, we'll let all of these be what they were, right? Locked cube cannot, but everything else can. Everything seems, oh, Jesus. Mm. You used to work. Why? What have I done? So it seems to be rotating, just snapping there. Oh. Hold on, I'm going to turn on these names too. Um, Spirit Link Cube A. Yep, <clears throat> so our Spirit Link Cube B is apparently not prefabbed. Cool. It's not my code's fault, it's my brain's. I like that. You still do stuff? Good. How about... Okay, fine, right, right. <laughs> How about now? Oh my god. Oh. Wow, that was a long path. I might actually move the target up to here. Like the center of the screen is okay. Maybe I'm just, see how like when I'm zoomed in, I can't really even see the path of the cube that I've selected. Camera offset, that's our rotator. Um, so we've got negative x and negative z for one and one. Let's try like a 0.66 negative. Ah, I need to turn that back on permanently. Okay. 
Man, camera work. We did some of it. I actually still think that's the uh, the name of the branch that I'm currently working in. I've just been so excited about these cubes. I haven't merged and rebranched. Excellent. So that seems to be working like a charm. Let's turn on the names for all of our cubes. Limited select, reverse spin, death cube, put you as red. I know, I know. Slippery cube, that's your color. Got our spirit links named. I don't care about the variable spins. Begin, uh, limited spin. Pressure plate. And that's it. And you know what I find a little bit disturbing is the, uh, this didn't really work. Yeah, it's still the same. Rotating, flip rotation, translate. Oh, here's my camera offset directions being calculated in here. Yeah, this looks fine for top. Why does that look great? Oh, because I had it. Dang it. <laughs> when things are up and down, that's when it gets a little bit goofy. I don't know. Zoomed in here looks pretty darn good. This looks pretty darn bad, right? I mean, you can still see it. You can still understand what's going on. It's just not super duper clear. Who knows, maybe one day I'll implement a feature where instead of just doing flips, you can do like a barrel roll. So it's like, oh, I want to pretend that this area is the top now. <clears throat> I don't know. I'd say that's low on my list. Um, what's high on my list? No! Is that that's high. Huh. Start leaf node. Failed to find a connection. Okay, so we're in connect perpendicular paths. And distance is point one. So there's start leaf node and this start leaf node. They seem to be perfectly aligned. It says there is no previous. Oh, you know what it is? Cube A, where are you at? Why are you all the way up here? Oh, probably because of the parent-child thing. Yep, it's because this face is not turned off yet. That's why. So let's get that happening.
I'll have another private function. I don't know if we actually need this, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. Rotate complete. Hide inactive faces. Oh, and this is just an inactive face list. Where do we use this again? Cube core, calculate hidden faces. Do I do that? No. No, did I turn A back on? I didn't. We're doing it now. Ah, feels better. Okay, so like so, like so. Okay. Hey, those got turned off. So this one failed to find a previous. That face is off as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, these all look correct. That's hard to see, but it's there. So, why? <laughs> that works. Hmm. We're not turning these faces back on, are we? And we'll begin rotate. We activate and break all paths. Boom. Calculate. Boom. I don't know if I did this. Well, why not? And this actually should be done for all the neighbors. Might be a little bit of overkill. We should also add this to the list. <clears throat> it's not going to show all the faces, though, is it? Yeah, it didn't show. Hmm. We're not turning on all the faces, are we?
Let's hide inactive faces. Do we have a show faces? Hmm. I guess you got to step through it. Um, it's got to be in the on begin, and it'll be in rotate. So who calls you? Um, rotator on begin rotate. There we go, and we'll work up from here. Who calls you? Who calls rotate selected? Here's our crazy edge stuff. Do, 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 do. This is called test swipe. I have no idea what turns the faces back on. <laughs> How is that even happening? I believe that as soon as we start rotating, we show the faces. It's got to be in cube core. Get faces, calculate hidden faces, hide inactive. Aha! Activate and break all paths. This should set the renderers to true. We just added that though. <clears throat> Physical link. On begin rotate. Right. Order of operations. Very important. Activating faces for B and C. Ha <laughs> Right. Because I am not my own neighbor. Man, I really, really love print debugging. Still doesn't fix our pathing problem, and we didn't even get to validating linked rotates. I believe that this one does fail. There was no goof there. Oh geez, I don't even know what face this is. See, that's something that I would love to have, just a visual face. So start leaf node has no previous. It is tagged. I've got my begin cube. End node is tagged. 0.5 on the Z. And whoa. What? Okay, that's right. Start. I wonder why this hasn't turned on. Hey, face, what are you doing there? C. 
same problem. Rotate. Feeling confident. We're running out of time. No. <laughs> Start leaf node. I know that they're overlapping, so there must be some other thing that's goofing me around. That's gone. So there's only one. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone, too. So cube A is having some real trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did he actually die? Yes, he did. Okay. <clears throat> so it seems like we still have a few pathing issues with our multiple, um, our physically linked cubes. See, that works fine. That doesn't. a weird input bug. This works. Then this is angry. Why would you be so angry? How am I going to debug that? This is at a sane point. It's clear. Wait a minute, did I see a perpendicular there again? Did. It thinks this star leaf node perpendicular, but the face is off.
Let's see if this is the back face facing up. Forward face is below. Left face, so this should be up face. Cube face is not active. Hmm, well, I think we had a lot done today. Uh, I'll probably save this tomorrow for big episode number 50. Things are starting to come along. We've got some really complex cubes going. Mm, we still need Whitling superpowers, UI, gameplay loop, level creation. But, you know, it's coming along for a small project. I uh, hope you all have a really good day.